Hi, I'm Mark, the poster consultant for the Prop Store, and I'm pleased to say that I'm joined today by Tony Klinger, son of Michael Klinger, the great British movie producer who in 1971 made one of the greatest British gangster films ever made, Get Carter, which starred Michael Caine. Welcome, Tony. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm really excited to hear more about these wonderful posters. Well, Prop Store have actually got a cinema poster auction coming up on April the 22nd. Part of that auction is what's known as the Ferrif Archive Collection, and part of that collection were these incredible pieces of Get Carter artwork from your father's film, some which haven't been seen before. No, I hadn't seen them. I didn't even know they existed, and it's just it's exciting for me to see it. I'm really pleased about that. The artist responsible was an Italian artist that your father commissioned, a guy called Arnaldo Puzzo, who did a number of designs to be used. The one closest to you is what's known as the payoff design. And on this UK quad, it shows Michael Caine with a cigarette. You can also see that he's wearing the, uh, a flowered sort of suit, sort of like a throwback to the late 60s. But it's said that Putsu took his inspiration from the bedspread that Britt Eklund is seen frolicking on. So you can see it, it, it's a really clever poster design. Re and you can see why it's popular now as it was then, 50 years. These other designs are what's known as unused poster concept designs. This one shows Michael Caine standing there in his trench coat with his shotgun. But this one, when it was printed and done, was used on double-decker buses. It was actually cut in half. Um, the artwork at the bottom was taken away and you just got the sole image of Michael Caine, which is Caine is Carter and Carter is a killer. And it, it was the same image with, with just the different taglines. And this one is proving to be one of the most popular lots currently in our auction in terms of online watchers. This is a great design. Again, Putsu has included all of the cast like he's done in the previous works, but they're all encased in a silhouette of Michael Caine in the outline. And it's the trademark shotgun from the film that really takes centre stage. It, for me, it's a great image. M much as I love that one, I would have liked to have seen this one outside cinemas. I think it's a really powerful image. It, it, it's just great. And it, we're so pleased that we've got these in for what is the 50th anniversary for your father's film, and I believe that you're making a film to coincide with that 50th anniversary. Yeah, we're celebrating the making of Get Carter, which is, as you say, 50 years ago. Our film is called uh, Dirty, Sexy and Totally Iconic. I also understand that, to, obviously, to coincide with the 50th anniversary, that you're going to be doing a special screening in Newcastle of the film? Yeah, we've, a spectacular find is that we found the only existing 35mm print of the, uh, from the original showings of the film Get Carter and we're going to take it back and have a, another premiere 50 years later in, in Newcastle Tyneside. So that's an original film originally shown in 1971 and you're going to be now showing that 50 years later? Yes, uh, and, and that's not the same as watching something on television or digital. It, it's, uh, it has a, it'll have a grain, it'll have a... <laughs> all, all the faults that that use kind, of, kind of print had, but I kind of like that. I think it's I exciting. Think, I think that'd be absolutely fantastic. It really, really... It, I, I'm sure your father would have loved, loved to know that 50 years on, we'd still be celebrating this film and to show it with an original copy of that film it is, it, it's really quite outstanding. Yeah, if my dad was still here, he would be celebrating this 50th anniversary and he would probably be doing exactly the same thing I'm doing, probably not as well. And what I'm interested in is how rare are these things? What you've got here is very rare. The, the prints are one of one proof prints which have been printed directly from the original negatives which were used in 1970-71 to make these posters. What we've discovered through our research and leading up to the auction and also with the Ferrif archive is very, very little original artwork actually exists today. These were just concept designs done by Arnaldo Puzzo that unfortunately have been lost to time. Nobody knows where these are and that's true of a lot of the items in the Ferrif archive that these prints are literally what's left as close as you're going to be getting to the original artwork. 
So, you know, these really are unique pieces. And you're actually with the lots, we're including the, the print you see here, you're getting the original negative with that, that the print was made from. The original negative is from 1971. The print is a recent print, but that's it. That is as close to the original artwork as you're going to get. And if your father was involved in it, I'm sure, he, I, I hope he would, was very pleased with what Pootsu turned in for him. Oh, he was. And I remember him, he, you said before, who decided these yeah. final decisions, it would have always been my dad. Really? Oh, he was very hands-on, yeah, with all this stuff. I'm, I'm so excited to find out where they go because I know there are a lot of keen collectors. I've met some of them and I just would love to see what happens on April 22nd to find out where these, these wonderful pieces find a home because it's exciting for me to understand that other people share my passion with, you know, for this film. Well, these pieces are certainly going to be one of the high points of the auction and we, we hope for our next auction, which is going to be later on in the year, there are a couple of other Get Carter pieces, so maybe we can show you them and uh, you'll be our guest on the day then. It would be lovely. I, I want to see where these find a home. I'm sure they will, and it'd be exciting to see what happens. Thank you, Tony. And you can join us on April the 22nd for our online cinema poster live auction. And you, you can check out the catalogue by going to propstore.com forward slash auction. It gives you the options where you can either bid online live as the auction's going on. You can leave a commission bid, and of course you can arrange for a telephone bid to see how these marvellous items of British cinema history do when they go up for sale in our auction. Thank you.